Should the atrocities in Ukraine be called war crimes, ethnic cleansing or genocide? The terms can be difficult to differentiate, but experts say the separate labels are crucial when investigating perpetrators and seeking justice in international courts. We are definitely seeing evidence of crimes against humanity and war crimes, says Leila Sadat, an expert on war crimes and INTA. That's why genocide can be extremely difficult to prove before the International Criminal Court and the International Court of Justice, she says, because prosecutors have to get into the mind of perpetrators and show that specific intent existed. Past war crime allegations in Syria, the Darfur region in Sudan and the former Yugoslavia show how challenging it can be to label crimes correctly in order to seek justice. NPR's Leila Fadel spoke to Sadat about how experts view the brutal images and accounts coming out of Ukraine and what the allegations of war crimes may mean for future international criminal investigations. Answers have been lightly edited for length and clarity. On whether Russia's actions in Ukraine constitute ethnic cleansing or genocide that is a complicated question, Leila. The international community has said that sometimes ethnic cleansing can be a form of genocide. And we've seen that in early decisions from the International Criminal Court in the situation involving Darfur, where the prosecutor did charge genocide because there was in fact a pattern of ethnic cleansing, destroying villages, driving people away from their homes, terrorizing a civilian population very similar pattern to what we saw in the former Yugoslavia, what we saw in Darfur, and we are now seeing today in Ukraine. On how Ukraine has prepared to seek justice through the ICC. Fortunately, Ukraine had the foresight to declare that the International Criminal Court statute was applicable to its territory in 2014 and 2015. So unlike Syria's Assad, who would never, never accept the jurisdiction of the ICC, the Ukrainian president and parliament has done that. And so the ICC does have jurisdiction here. On how crimes against humanity and ethnic cleansing compare to genocide crimes against humanity are just as serious as genocide. There's no hierarchy here. Crimes against humanity is what the Nazis were charged with for the Holocaust. And so I know that the international community and victim groups tend to grab for this concept of genocide because we have a treaty on it and we don't yet have the treaty on crimes against humanity. So it seems as if they're less important. They're not less important. They are absolutely horrific crimes that involve attacks on a civilian population and the dehumanization of the human spirit and human beings.